Welcome to Reading Wonderland. Join us on a magical journey through the pages of your favorite stories. Little Rabbit's Big Day by Charlotte Van Amst. This delightful children's book takes us on an exciting journey with Little Rabbit as he sets out to explore the world beyond his home. Join us as we embark on this enchanting tale and share in the joy of Little Rabbit's Big Day. Little Rabbit's Big Day by Charlotte Van Emst It was a big day for a little rabbit. He was going to the park with Bear. Be good, said Mama as she waved goodbye. You're a big rabbit now. Remember, Bear said Little Rabbit on the way to the park, I'm not little today, I'm big. In fact, soon I'll be too big for this stroller. The moment they arrived, Little Rabbit rushed straight for the swings, look at me, he cried. Big rabbits can swing really high. Back and forth and up and down he went higher and higher. And higher. And higher. And higher. Who oops. When Bear looked around, Little Rabbit was already halfway up the slide. Look at me, he shouted. No hands. We. Bump. But Little Rabbit was determined to be big and brave. Let's play hide and seek, he said. Bear found a good hiding place. Little Rabbit looked over here and over there, under this and under that. He couldn't find there anywhere. Where are you? He sniffed. Over here, cried Bear, jumping out from behind the tree. I found you. But big, bold rabbits never stay miserable for long. On the way to the duck pond they watched the teddy rovers practicing for Saturday's big match. I'll show you how to play soccer, yelled Little Rabbit. Just watch me. Ouch. Well done, said the big center forward. Little Rabbit felt very proud, even though his toe hurt quite a bit. At last they reached the duck pond. Those ducks look hungry, said Little Rabbit. See how far I can throw. The bread went soaring through the air. And so did Little Rabbit. Splash! That was a huge throw, said Bear, helping him out. I'll jump myself dry, suggested Little Rabbit. I'm good at jumping. But the mud was all slippery. Squish! Never mind, said Bear. Let's have some ice cream. Little Rabbit chose a triple-decker strawberry cone with a chocolate wafer. Big rabbits need really big ice creams, he said. And we can eat them all in one bite. I think it's time we went home, said Bear. It's been a big day. Back at home, Little Rabbit began to feel small again. He let Bear run his bath. He let her rinse his face when he got soap in his eyes. Don't worry, you'll feel better soon, said Bear as she wrapped him up in a nice, warm towel. Little Rabbit hoped so. Later on, Bear was busy in the kitchen. There's a surprise for a dessert, she said. Little Rabbit was glad he was small enough for special surprises. Like chocolate cake. He was glad he was small enough for it not to matter too much. If he made a mess. He was glad he was small enough to be carried upstairs. And cuddled. And read a story and tucked in tight, and kissed goodnight. I'm glad I'm not always a big rabbit, he thought as he closed his eyes. But someday. And that's the end of the story. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more great stories with you in the future. To learn more about an amazing reading program for kids, please check the link in my bio. Thank you.